Hello and welcome back. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Basilius of Byzantium campaign. Let's see how these all all these battles shake out. We've got the Hungarian engagement in Skopje. Skopje. It's gonna be pretty good. A five stack with no leader. We've got this battle, and then we've got our naval battle. How did we roll? It was an eight. Good job, Yasun. Yasun. Ship trade power plus fifteen percent. That's not gonna help us much here. All of our ships are pretty well repaired. Come on, do 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 it. Ah. Okay, what's going on over here? Scanner bro. Scanner bro is not. Oh, that's. Right, because they own the fort, they don't have to worry about the straight because they're defender. Damn, so Scanderbeg is not getting a 7-7 seven, seven roll. He is instead a 7 versus a 1, which is still very good. And the first shock phase is a 9 versus a 9. That's very, very penalizing for both of us, I think. Meanwhile, the naval battle is going... Okay? I'm not sure. Who, who has... I feel like you have more ships now. Sienna brought four more galleys to the fight. That makes things look not good. There's a pretty weak light ship. There are some that are fairly damaged. For whatever reason, normally you see like one of your ships suddenly taking lots of damage every day. How's this battle going? Scanderbeg rolls a 8 versus a 2 in the second shock phase. Come on, man. Hold out. The siege was finally making progress. All right, looks like this naval battle is probably not going to go in our favor. We did just roll a 9, though. I think we're going to call it. Uh, another nine, but he rolled a nine too. Let's back out. We uh, we killed three ships and we didn't lose any, so that was good. That was a good naval engagement, and we are pulling through in the Skanderbeg fight somehow. Somehow he's amazing, and the Hungarians are doing a great job rolling zeros in the hills. Yet it's a superior engagement for them, so they're fine. All right, Skanderbro, win. A shame that I can't get my navy to blockade this because we could actually stack whip the Venetians right now. Might need a couple more galleys. I'm just saying. That will be nice. Good job, Scanderbeg. I hope we have enough men to resume the siege when it's all said and done. 2.44 war score. We lost quite a few dudes. But Scanderbeg is... Well, he's a bro. So we're victorious. We do not have enough men to maintain the siege. We have to wait at least a month. We are one day away from a chance to potentially take the siege, maybe. Negative 7, actually, but still. You know what I'm saying. All right. They're not trying to land any units yet. We are still unable to finish the Siege of Nexos. We've been here for 400 days. No wall breaches, not a single one. We have a Siege Pip leader. Like, I mean, what, what, what more do you want from me, game? Come on, give me the Siege. In Hungary, I need you to, like, relieve that Siege, please. Please. That's, no, don't come here. I was, I was joking about that. I don't actually want you to come here. I was kidding. Go away. Do this. Fight that army. Finish the siege of your own capital. Why'd you stop the siege of your own capital? Here, I'll give you a hint. Maybe you should siege this. <laughs> well, maybe that'll help him? I don't know. Doesn't seem like he's very smart. I definitely question his sanity. Oh, wait, wait, is he being really smart? I shouldn't question his sanity. He's smart. Well, he almost got a free stack wipe, but not quite. We had to take a loan, so we failed the mission to, uh... To accumulate money. And we lost that Siege of Macedonia. That thing went down quick compared to the Siege of Corfu. Now I'm pretty concerned about my navy. Um, wait, wait, my navy suddenly is looking pretty solid because half the Venetian navy just left. Let's kill the other half. This, this is why the AI loses to the wars that they should win. Because they just can't be smart enough to keep their navy together when it's important. Like, right now. And now I'm going to pick apart this navy Potentially capturing one or two ships, and then swinging the naval balance in my favor. Potentially for the rest of this war. I don't think he'll be able to rally together quick enough into this into this sea tile. It's my hope anyway. Alright, where are all these armies headed? You are... Uh, retreating, it looks like, into maybe Macedonia? Okay, come on. Do a good job here, buddy. They are rallying more ships. That's why the numbers are going up. We're not actually losing them. They will arrive in the... You can see on the 27th. Come on, Ian. Oh, yes on. We finally won the Siege of Nexos. Amazing! Praise Jabus. Okay, I feel like we've done what we can. They've rallied enough men, enough navy here to, to dissuade me from engaging any longer. 
We are currently uh, rolling a one, so let's retreat into Athens before we lose anything. We killed two light ships. Perfect. Now we'll get some repairs before the end of this month, and we'll probably pop out and do it again. You can invest in new technology. Oh, boy, wouldn't that be nice. We're almost able to resume our Siege of Corfu. Almost. Here, uh, Hungary, I do want you to do this, if you don't mind. Where are you going? You might be trying to attach to that army. I'll tell you what, if you want to attach to an army, I'll give you an army to attach to. Attach to one of these. France has decided to declare a reconquest on England. That's going to go well, I think, for them. They're going to get Chios back, finish their conversion. That is, again, a navy that looks rather weak. We've got a Genoese navy popping in on the 24th. The Aegean Sea that we care about. There are two navies coming here. One is the Genoa's light ship on the 15th. That's tomorrow. The other one's coming in on the 14th. So that means one ship is locked. And it looks like that's going to be the only ship here for a day or two. So I'm going to poke out again. We're going to pull, uh, let's see, what's the most damaged ships? You know, they're actually well enough repaired. I'm going to take the whole navy out for, for this. But I'm hoping we can instantly kill the one navy, the one light ship right there. Maybe even seize it, because we'll, we'll annihilate its morale. And then here comes another navy from Venice. He's added another, like, four ships, three ships to it. Looks like one already got sank. That was probably the Genoese light. And the rest of the navy has shown up. But now we can retreat again in just two more days. We can already get out of here. So we've we've lost nothing. It's almost the end of the month. Let's bug out again. We killed three ships. Lost nothing. And we will arrive just in time for repairs as well. So that is, uh, that's how we whittle away at the beast. The Venetian beastly navy. Another water shortage. We're making up are uh, making up progress on the siege in Corfu very, very quickly. Look at that. Hungary's actually going to listen to me. Can you believe it? Did you did you siege down your capital? No, he's not going to listen to me completely. No, he's, he's only going to listen to me kind of. I told him he should, but he just didn't want to do it yet. Yeah, let's just send the whole army there, actually. We're going after Constantinople. Guess we should probably turn that fort on again. Okay, we got our repairs last month. Again, we're looking at a very weak Venetian navy, probably just trying to blockade up to a certain number of ports or something. We've got... In a couple of days, the Sienese fleet is arriving. That looks to be about it right now. Not really a favorable engagement at the moment, I think. So we'll keep waiting. We see another opportunity. Like, say, right now, when the half the fleet's leaving. Venice is leaving. Siena's leaving. And they're leaving behind nothing but transports. That's very smart, Venice. This is going to work out really well for you, I can promise you. I approve. I, I greatly enjoy your decision-making ability. It's almost as good as the, uh, as the Hungarians. <laughs> All right, we got our Siege of Corfu. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep that, um, because I need it. I don't have any subjects to transfer it to, even though we're kind of strapped for cash at the moment. But we have, we have positive war score. That's, that's good. I'm really glad I made the war goal Yeboe, because we've got 6.8 ticking war score so far. If we could just get Pest back, things would be looking pretty damn good. I think that, uh, oh, I don't know, right about now, while they have nothing but transports, would be a good time to do this engagement. What do you think? Venice, do you think you should leave nothing but transports to do a blockade? No, surely not. When you press the D key to detach a navy, it doesn't just detach transports, because that'd be suicide. <laughs> right? Please don't tell me we have a hard time fighting transports without a leader. Yasun knows what to do. He killed one, we captured zero. But we've, uh, we've shown him who's boss, that's for sure. 
let's see if we can also capture this Genoese Navy, which is heading into the Eastern Black Sea. It is definitely trying to hide right now. Uh, let's see, what is the speed of these ships again? Speed is 10, 8, and 5. Let's leave our transport behind. Let's go hunt that navy down. And we'll come back. Alright, don't attach to my larger army. Um, we need to get Macedonia back. 14. Yeah, we'll engage this, and then we're going to probably just focus on trying to defend uh, this region. And, uh, I don't know, if Hungary takes a separate piece, I'm, I'm fine with that. I have the ticking war goal. Um, the things that I want out of this war are kind of sneaky. <laughs> I had, I had noticed between episodes that uh, there's no fort in Corsica, so we could demand this without actually sieging it, which would be great um, if we negotiated here. Uh, actually, that's not true because he is not a primary participant. That's right. We will have to get out there to siege it, but um, that's a province I'd really like to get. It gets just kind of spread out in the whole center of this watery region, and uh, I'd like to do that. Meanwhile, there is a Genoese army on Constantinople. He is on Tech 4. But I did turn the fort on, so... Oh, look at that! We're 50 troops shy of half garrison, so he's he's getting an extra perk. Plus one siege status, effectively. Where are you hiding? Are you really tucking it all the way up into there? Are you going to hide it in one of these provinces? I mean, this is something else we could consider. We could try to take these provinces. Do you have any forts over here? You have no forts over here. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm not keen on being a, a target from the from the hordes in this area, but you know, getting some extra trade power right here could be nice early on. We're gonna we're gonna be fighting the Ottomans again fairly soon. Nice wall breach. It's a lot of Hungarian infantry. How long ago did the siege fall? Oh, look at the garrison size. I think we need to uh, assault. I'm not leading the siege, though. I can't order it. Hmm. Well, it would make a lot of sense, Hungary. Just, I'm just saying, if you're looking for ideas, I'll, I'll give them to you. I think the walls of Constantinople should be able to hold for quite a pretty long time, even if we don't have a full garrison strength. Granted, General has expired, which means we can give them the province that they so desire and deserve. Let's give them a Pyrrhus back. Taking them to 14.3. That's actually not enough. They expect 15. Okay, you can have... Um, why don't you take... Akia, then? Let's keep them loyal. Unfortunately, all that work that Hungary did is about to go away because he's going to lose the control of Dalmatia. Yep, there it goes. So Hungary's enthusiasm is going to be dropping, I think, like a rock. We'll probably take a step piece soon. He's done a bad job. I, I gotta say, it's, it's, he's not doing well. Need to keep on picking off small navies. Probably about time to go pick up that other guy. There's the Venetian fleet hanging out in Duras. Interesting. I feel like my navy's probably stronger than his right now. I've got eight and five, he's got five and three. We could pick off this Sienese fleet first. I might delay the siege. Not not do it yet. I don't want to force them out just yet. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna stop here. We're gonna grab the light or the, the transport. If it looks safe, I might do this run with a, a naked transport. I think these guys will block a path long enough to get this transport to Akia. 
Probably. Or it could just, you know, suicide that ship and unit. Which would be rather bad. They got a long time on the sieges up there, and they're suffering a lot of attrition to do them, so... Let's, uh, let's reset the siege time. I don't want it to... I just don't want it to go yet. And let's see what Sienna does as I approach, and maybe... We get a clear indicator if Venice thinks that my navy's stronger than his. If he thinks he's stronger, he'll come out of this port and come re he'll assist. If he thinks he's weaker, he'll just stay in the port. Which, it looks like I am right in thinking that my navy is much stronger than his right now. I don't think we're going to have any issues with this fight. Okay, so let's let it play out. Genoese Navy, on the other hand, wants to come and play. We captured no ships, but we killed one. It's decent. One ship's a lot. It adds up. Now, I don't want to engage it just yet. Not while we have half the fleet. Let's head back. Pick up the ones that have been repairing. See if we can engage this 11 stack. It's 11 ships. Looks like I might just leave. I guess we'll force this guy out. Let's let's let him come out. Battle begins on the 17th. Bring all of the navy together, except for the transport. Our coasts continue to get raided by that guy who's going to definitely die at some point in the near future. Triple points, nice. And they got a big disease outbreak on that whole navy. Or that, that whole army over there. That's neat. Pretty good stuff. We lost no ships, killed one. Actually dock up real quick. Let's see. Not fast enough there. How about here? Second. Fourth. There's gotta be one, one of them that's like... Just barely closer, technically, lets us get there on the first, yeah! Which means we get our, our tick of repairs. Alright, war exhaustion is going up pretty damn quick because of this occupied thing. So I think I'm going to just leave the navy in this area. Again, making sure that we are keeping this blockade active. Um, we're possibly going for this other navy down here. There's two transports. Leave the galleys here, and let's see if the light the light ships are fast enough to just go pick off those two transports. Three transports, whatever it is. Two transports and a galley. They're very fast. Comparatively speaking. And we got nothing, but we killed all three. I do not want to fight these things. I can't believe he's just ignoring my commands. Silly AI, you're supposed to be my minion. We'll block in Epirus, rather than worrying about doing anything else. Aragon has entered into an alliance with the Ottomans. That's fine. We can't really be friends with the uh, with with them anyway, so... I don't like how they're actually trying to make progress on our capital, though. Please get this this fort back. Would you just assault it, maybe, Hungary? I mean, it's it's been so long since since the siege started, and you got a breach on the very first time, and they only have 300 troops. Like, that's a piddly, piddly garrison. Come on, be smarter about this. Oh, that's right, I'm talking to Hungary, I forgot. I'm bad. No such luck. That is again mostly transport, so we're gonna go try to engage that. Venice wants nothing to do with it. He's gonna get out on the 6th. We won't be there until the 7th, um, unless we reorganize the Navy by taking these seven. And then we can get there on the 4th with the light ships and track that Navy down. We're faster than you are. Aha. Uh -huh.
Did we just lose a ship? Yeah, it's possible that coming over here that fast and letting him shoot at just light ships with his galleys for a couple days may have costed me at least one ship. But, yeah, I did. But we killed five, so I still think that was a good decision. Yeah, you're just going to keep on making our whole army suffer disease outbreaks, Hungary. I'm not happy with you. You're making me mad, Hungary. And you're giving them time to do sieges that we shouldn't let them do. Morocco cedes Tangiers to Portugal. Like, we should really be going and relieving the siege on my capital, maybe? Um... I have to worry about hiring an advisor right now. Instead, we're just sitting here doing the same siege we've done for the last year? Come on! Come on! Finish the siege! I swear, Hungary. I swear. You drive me nuts. You drive me up a wall. I need you to just bow out. Bow out of the war. Let me, like, become the leader of the siege, and I will just assault it with my own men. Or I should be allowed to assault with just my own men anyway. Because I want to. You know? What a waste of time, doing the siege for so long. Very frustrating. How was their enthusiasm again? Hungary is at 31 for some silly reason. Oh hey look, the siege completed. Yay, that was great. Maybe he was just trying to like, bump up his participation by being the leader of a major siege or something for the last year. Alright, you guys attach to me? Attach to me, come on. Attach? A a attach? No, you don't want to attach? Okay, fine. Fine, I'll do it myself. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just do it. I'll do it all by myself. I don't need your help. I don't need anybody's help. Now that they attached? Of course, of course, now they... I, I swear. I swear, man. It's like he's trolling me on purpose. Do we have Skanderbeg? We got Skanderbeg. Skanderbeg's gonna show him how it's, how it's done. He's gonna... He's gonna show Hungary how you retake a province. Or how you lead a battle against the filthy Genoese who are still unsuc unsuccessfully trying to convert that province. Granada seeds Granada and Gibraltar to Portugal. Sneaky, sneaky Portugal. Not letting... Castile have what he wants. Castile's getting kind of screwed this uh, this campaign. Alright, Scanderbeg. Win for me. Nice! We captured two ships. We gained a galley and another transport. Huzzah. Capturing ships is really, really very valuable to me right now because our income is still quite low. Let's see how we do. We've engaged! We have low morale for some reason, but Skanderbeg is going to... Whoa! 14 versus a zero! That's a big hit! Bam! Please stop giving my enemies military access to Ottomans. It's rude of you. It looks like we again have naval superiority over the Venetians. Bam! He rolled another eight and a five. Look at those losses. We maybe lost some men. But, um, bam! Pretty good. And we can stack wipe here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and mothball again because I'm greedy. And we're kind of pro we're very poor right now. We're actually not losing that much money, but what do you have in this sea tile if if you have 13 here? Not much. There goes one more galley. And there's the stack wipe. Alright, no longer attached to me. Go away. Get away from me, everyone. Hey, I get the feeling we're allowed to just, like, freely march over here. Yeah, we could through Hungary, but, um, we're not going to do that. Okay, yeah, I'm going to let them do their, th their own thing for a little bit. I am going to rethink my game plan for, like, what I want to siege down, and if we want to do it via the sea, or if we want to actually try to march up into Venice. I don't know if I want to get involved in this stuff, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to take a break here, and I'll be back after I've got a game plan. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.